In this video, we will show how a mechanical system assembly that is defined in a CAD system can be used to quickly create a SimScape multi-body model using SimWise 4D as the bridge between the CAD system and SimScape multi-body. SimWise 4D is a desktop simulation system that performs various kinds of mechanical simulations, including 3D multi-body dynamics, finite element analysis, optimization, durability, and it allows mechanical system models to be co-simulated together with control system models. For this example, we will use the multi-body dynamics capability of SimWise 4D to build a simulation-ready model from a CAD assembly, and using a tool developed jointly with the MathWorks, bring that model into SimScape multi-body. Let's take a look now at how this actually works. This is a model of an industrial robot that's been defined in SOLIDWORKS. Every part that makes up this robot is defined here, but they've been grouped together into different sub-assemblies. And here at the top level assembly of the robot, I'm simply looking at the different sub-assemblies that make up the robot. There are some assembly mates that have been defined, and these are constraints that define how the parts are located relative to one another, or in this case, the subassemblies, and how they move relative to one another. Now, to transfer this robot to SimWise, I simply go up to the Tools menu and choose SimWise Export. And the SimWise plugin for SolidWorks will go through the assembly model, find all the geometry, the assembly structure, the mates, and transfer them to SimWise. Once the once the things are ready, SimWise will open the model, and then we can go and add additional things to make this a complete motion model. So here's the model, been transferred in real time to SimWise. This is the list of things that came over from SolidWorks. And now I have really a simulation-ready motion model. I can click the SimWise Simulate button, and what we see is the robot falls under gravity. Now, before I transfer this model to SimScape multi-body, I need to do a little bit of work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change some of these revolute joints that came over from SolidWorks and make them into motors so that they can drive the various parts of the robot. So I'm gonna convert this revolute joint to a motor, and I'm gonna temporarily fix this part and what we see now is the motor spins and the gripper jaws open and close. Next thing I want to do is isolate these two gears and add a gear constraint between them. So I'm going to add something called a chord in SimWise. And a chord is simply a three-dimensional coordinate system. And once that's added, I can ask SimWise to create a spur gear between these two cords. The spur gear has been created. You can go now and specify the ratio of the gear. So now I've connected these two parts with a gear. You can ask SimWise to show all the parts. And I can find the revolute joint that spins this gear, and that's this one here. So I'm gonna change it to a Revolute motor. And once again, we can run the simulation. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna go over here and change the name of this to something more meaningful. And these names will come over to Simscape Multibody when I do the transfer. So let's change this one to gear motor. Um, next thing I want to do is go and do the same thing to another joint. Change this one to Revolute. And we will name this one wrist motor. Now I can unfreeze this part and freeze this part. And when I run the simulation, now I've got 
three motors controlling this. To save a little time, I went ahead and changed the rest of these Revolut joints to Revolut motors. And when we click now, we see that all degrees of freedom of the robot are controlled by motors. The last thing I want to do before I transfer this to Synscape Multibody is go and change these motors from having their velocity specified to making them into torque motors. Because once we get to Synscape Multibody, we'll have models of the motor that will control the torque, and that's what the control system is going to control. So now at this point, I can go into MATLAB, and from the Apps tab, I can pick this Get Geometry application. I can find my robot model, and I can say Import to Simulate. So at this point, Get Mechanics is going and reading the Simwise 4D model. Again, it's finding all the geometry, all the constraints, all the motion-specific entities that we added to the Simwise model, and it's building the equivalent Simscape multi-body model. And this process takes about 20 seconds. And here, here we have the Simscape multi-body model. And you can see the inputs that I defined have come over. And when I expand this, see I've got the full Simscape multi-body model. Now I can click simulate. I haven't defined any control systems on the motors. So basically they all have a torque of zero. So again, we're seeing the robot as we did when we first brought it in to Simwise falling under the effects of gravity. But now the Simscape multi-body model is ready for me to go and connect the control system and the other systems that will drive it. I've now completed defining my controller and connecting it with the mechanical model that we brought over from SolidWorks. And we can look at these different blocks and see what's been defined, but this is all standard Simulink and Sim, Simscape. Um, and then I can use that and simulate the robot as it moves through its range of motion and performs a particular activity. And I can validate that my control system works the way it's supposed to work and that everything is ready to go. Now, during this short time, we've seen how a model can be taken from a CAD system. In this case, it was SolidWorks, but it could be any of the CAD systems we support. It can be brought to Simwise 4D, and in Simwise 4D, we can add some different objects to complete the motion model. We can use Simwise 4D's multi-body dynamic simulator to verify that the mechanical simulation model is correct. And then at the touch of a button, we can transfer all that information over to Simscape multi-body where it's ready to go to be connected to a control system, a hydraulic system, or a power system, or any of the other multidisciplinary domains that are supported by Simscape. If you're using Simscape multi-body, we believe that we've got a very good solution for you, and we invite you to find out more information about Simwise 4D and request an evaluation and try it for yourself. Thank you very much.